Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Foolcraft 2. I am your game show host, your parting gift, Runamit. Today, guys, uh, I was actually going to start um, with some power stuff because I wanted to get some power going and you know how I am when it comes to power. Uh, but I I, uh, I found something, guys. Um, so the uh, Sheridan unlocked... A, um, I don't, I don't know why my sky looks like that. I think it just has has to do with the, the modem or the uh, texture pack I'm using. But I'm not gonna worry about it because I like the shaders on. But anyways, what I was getting to is uh, Sheridan unlocked the world border, and the world border got bigger today by eh, 500 blocks, I think, radius wise. I think a thousand total. Maybe it's a thousand radius, two thousand total. I don't know, something like that. But um, but yeah. So uh, I've actually found a new place. Uh, I was planning on building like right here on top of the hill, like we said last episode. Uh, but I think I found something that's going to be kind of cool and quite challenging from what I've seen so far. Um, but before we jump over there, look at this weird texture stuff going on. <laughs> it is weird. Uh, I don't know why it's like that. Maybe, maybe. Let me try something, guys. I'll be right back. All right, so that kind of fixed it, but my, it's not as fun, I guess. You know, I had the uh, Faith uh, 64, I think, is what the texture pack was. Um, and you kind of get a little bit smoother textures instead of the, the rough Minecraft, but that's okay. This is okay. So what I was saying, guys, is uh, the world border increased, and so I found a temple, and it's quite cool. But uh, before I go over there, I want to show you this real quick. Um, this is where I set up shop the past couple days, or since the last episode. And I've got a bunch of cows. Now, I don't know which cow is what. I know they're fluid cows, but I'm going to try to make a guess right here. That right there is probably the... Uh, I know it looks like a normal cow, but it's not. Uh, I think that's the fluid or molten uh, coal... Uh, from th uh, Thermal Expansion, I think, or it's one of them. Um, this one here, the blue one is, oh man, what is this one? I can't remember. This one, very important. Why is he dying, though? He's about dead. Um, How do you heal a cow? I hope he's not dying. Maybe he got attacked by something. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, but yeah, he is a starlight fluid cow. Um, this one, the orange one here is, I think, Signalum. This one is Pulsating Iron. This one is Glowstone. And then I got a couple more. And also down there, I got uh, some log chickens right there. And they're producing logs. That's kind of cool. And then over here we set up a um, a blockheads kitchen. That's kind of weird, um, but yeah, I've got the blockheads kitchen multi block here, and I've uh, been making some spring salads, um, very tasty. If you click on this, it'll tell you um, what the uh, this is the hunger and this is the saturation. So I just been making a bunch of these, and uh, they're pretty. <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> They're pretty yummy. Um, so I just go in here and I just pick pick our garden. And I'm going to have to play with that texture pack because I really don't understand why that doesn't work very well. Um, maybe I need to get like the Faith 32 and not the 64 bit. Maybe that's the problem. But we're just going to pick these real quick so I can make some more salads because I'm going to take you over to the new place. And that, that and those things, and that, and that. Maybe I have some blueberries in there, and that, and some eggs. All right, so let me, uh, I'm going to start, um, oh, also, that's an energized glowstone. That's from that cow. I put it underground, and it goes all the way up there. That's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, let me get, uh, I'm going to get a few things, and then I'm going to take you over to the new place. Be right back. All right, guys, so I made it back to where uh, we are going to call home. And I just wanted to do like a really cool reveal and kind of slowly go around. 
do? It's the Temple of Death. All right. All right. So, yeah, this is where we're going to be living now. And um, I've taken everything that I need. Uh, instead of, like, uh, doing, like, multiple takes, I have brought everything over here. So this is, if I go to the journey map, this is where we were, right there, my hizzle. And now we are here. And what's cool about this place is this is a gigantic, like, a Mayan temple. And then there's, like, a little Mayan city right here. And then there's um, a watchtower here. And then I don't know what on earth this is, but this is awesome. I mean, it's one of the coolest things I've seen uh, in a mod pack as far as a structure. And uh, I'm claiming it. <laughs> so uh, when I got here, um, I just went ahead and t this is this is basically what it looked like when I got in. Um, this corner here was full of just cobblestone, though. And um, immediately I started hearing mobs. And you can see it on my... I made my little journey map thing up there a little bit larger so you guys can see the amount of mobs. But um, so yeah, and it had uh, these four accesses. And each access has a staircase that goes down, as you can see there. And then this one over here goes down, like that. And it's got these cool little torches. And then up on the top was nothing. So I pillared up and it's nothing. Um, there is some grass up there. And I think we'll end up making that, um, what's that mod pack that, uh, um, it's Celestial, Astral, that's what, it's called Astral Sorcery. We'll eventually probably make that, uh, one of our places. Hopefully it's one of the areas that gets a lot of, uh, starlight, um, and that would be cool. So yeah, all four of these, or all three of these go out to water. There's a coral reef out there that glows at nighttime. And, um, so this is going to be our home. This is going to be... The Temple of Death. And the reason it's called the Temple of Death, well, let's look at something really quick. So I, when I came over here, I had only died three times. Now if we go over here and we hit, um, where is it at? Server info and go to leaderboards and go to number deaths. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> 23. Yes, I died that many times and I died all those times here inside the Temple of Death. So basically... Uh, each floor is a giant maze, and it's just one wide tunnels that just go and around and around, and it's all dark. And so I cleared this first level here, um, and I'll, I'll explain what I'm doing over here. And after I cleared this level, I wanted to go see what was down at the next level, so we went down to the next level, and this one got even more difficult because... Um, since this is a pyramid, each level you go down, the wider it gets, right? And so I cleared this level off, but this isn't as wide as it is. It actually goes all the way to here. So it's uh, another one, two, three, four, five blocks wide. So each level goes out five blocks. Uh, but there was one of these spawners like this, which is kind of cool. So we do have a, a, a zombie spawner to play with, but that's not all. That's not all. I got more for you guys. Check this out. Uh, until I, let me figure out how I get down there. Here it is. So I went down to this level. And this, can, this one will kind of give you an idea of what I'm dealing with. Um, see the amount of mobs that are underneath me right now? And you can, you can probably hear them too. It's ridiculous. Um, so yeah. So this one goes down. And it goes out five more spaces. And the way that I'm able to maintain... Uh, the zombies and all the stuff spawning is by putting uh, lava down and then breaking through the walls and then put, putting lava down and breaking through the walls. It's a very slow process. Very, very slow. So, that's what I have been doing. And this, so this is why I called it the Temple of Doom, or Death. What's really cool is, look at this, it's a double spawner. Isn't that cool? Yeah. They're both zombie spawners, so I might get rid of the one up top. And make this a uh, double spawning room. Um, I think that we can make, uh, if I remember correctly, Link said we could make um, uh, cursed earth. So we might make that whole entire floor, like a cursed earth floor, or at least that area. And just have a mob grinding room from mob utilities. That would be cool. Okay, so what am I doing up here? Well, 
I figured once I got over here, um, I really don't have any area to farm. And the only grass that's within reach of where I'm going to be up at the top uh, is the grass that goes around each of the ledges. And if you look down here, each ledge has like a little green area, which I thought was kind of cool. Well, then I thought, well, hey, won't we just blow out this and we'll put glass across here. All right, excuse me, I had a coughing fit. Um, we don't even need to put glass, really. We could just probably um, uh, just leave this open. Yeah, because I don't get any rain or anything on it. And so I'm going to turn this whole entire floor into grass. And what's cool is some of the floors already have, for whatever reason, some of the floors have trees in it. And it's got little grass patches in it. You can see there was, um, there was a tree here with some grass and I had to take it apart so yeah that's what we're gonna be doing so I am going to um, go ahead and get this floor uh, done because I do have a lot of dirt and if I run out of dirt if you look down there uh, this whole side of the temple is actually covered in trees and dirt and rock um, all the way up to about right there and so I just been excavating this using the vein miner and I want to get rid of actually I want to get rid of this whole entire hill because it's kind of blocking the view I want to be able to see that temple over there um, so yeah that's what we're going to do and then and then we will start getting back into some good stuff and not only that I have a really cool idea of what I want to do with this building on the outside I think it's going to be really cool. So let me get uh, this floor tore out, put some grass in, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I got uh, that little section done. You can actually see where I've cut the walls out right there. And I have a nice little area over here that's got lots of sand, and that's what we're going to use to make our glass. And I didn't realize that we actually have a slime island here and it's been dropping a bunch of slimes so I am going to go and get these because they're blue slimes and we might need some of these later and also they drop pretty nice uh, reward bags I had one over uh, at my other place and I'm also seeing a cloud right there now we have cloud pets and Notice I have the clouds turned off. Man, that's a big one out there, isn't it? I have the clouds turned off, so that means that there's probably and most likely a chest up there. What's really cool, though, is that the slime island is here, so I might just make like a little slime farm here. I don't know if I want to kill that one or not. But these are so fun. I mean, it's like a free kill. They're not, they really don't do that much damage. Oh, look at this guy. You got all kinds of hats. So there, we got nice slime balls now. Okay, guys, so I'm back to the uh, to the temple. And what I was thinking is, uh, I went in and put our furnaces. I forgot to put our furnaces up, so I put them over here, and it's been making glass. Um, I think I think somewhere I have a just a normal chisel. Um, I'm pretty freaking sure I have one. Yep, there it is right there. So what I want to actually make is a chisel and bits chisel. But I want to chisel the glass first. So to get a chisel and bits chisel, I'm going to make a diamond one since we found some diamonds. Uh, I need to go to a crafting table though. Let's do this and then this. And let's grab a chisel. And then we need to make a bag. It takes a lot of wool and a little uh, chisel bit. So I know we have a bunch of string. I don't know how much wool we have. So let's go over here. Is it getting nighttime again? It seems like every time I play, it's freaking nighttime. Let's grab this. And did we have any wool? Here's some more string. There's more cotton. Um, I'm not seeing wool. Maybe it's in this chest? Nope. Um, not seeing any in there either. Um, okay, so I did want to show you guys this. These are all our fluid cows and stuff that we brought from the other place. I did get a sand chicken. I don't know if I showed you that. Um, um, this is actually the second day since I recorded that first segment. Um, so I don't remember if I showed you that. But I did get a, a reward bag that had uh, a sand chicken in it. So let's go ahead and sleep. And let's get uh, morning time and the sun rising. There we go. I did change the lighting to... Um, <laughs> look at my... It looks like Abraham Lincoln. 
I did change my lighting and that I, I think that's going to help a little bit with the shader stuff gets a little bit darker, but I might, uh, if you guys got a, a good shader to use, that's all I'm looking for is more of like a realistic look. And this is 1.10.2. So if you guys know of a good shader, let me know. Um, this one is, uh, if we go into options, uh, this one is this one, Silder's Vibrant Shaders. This is the uh, 1.16 high. Um, so let me know if you guys have one that works just as well. And maybe it doesn't have like this going on. And also allow me to actually see the sun. And if I dip to the horizon, you see that weirdness that's going out there in the sky. It's kind of weird. So I, it doesn't bother me, but I just I would like to make it nice for you guys too. Um, so let's see how much wool we can make. That makes seven. I need to make one more. So we just got to go like this. Boop, doop, doop. There we go. So we got enough. Whoops, that's not the right pattern. There we go, eight. Okay, so now we need to take a, let's just grab a piece of cobblestone. And actually, you know what? Let's just do this. Just go like this. Boop. Um, how come I can't chisel that? Boop, there we go. Okay, and then go over here and do that. And then let's do it like that. All right, so now we have our bag. So now what I want to do is grab this glass, okay, and I want to use the regular chisel, like so, and then let's see what glass, um, let's see, quite clear gla glass, uh, ornate glass, I kind of want to keep it kind of an ornate look because we kind of, you know, we have a temple going on and stuff, um, maybe this one, the iron face, that might look nice with our, with our temples. Um, this is a steel framed one. Let's go with this one. Let's just try it. Um, let's try it. Let's. Oh, I didn't mean to get all 32 of them. Let's do this. Let's put it down and see what it looks like. Eh, that's not that bad. I mean, we can chisel it. Which one's this? This one is the asymmetrical glass. Eh, I don't like that. That almost looks like... Uh, that's a quite clear glass. That's not what I want. That's regular... That's uh, bubble glass. That's stupid. Uh, the red is kind of cool. Yeah, it's kind of got you know a Japanese flavor to it, even though we're not in Japan. Um, that actually says Japanese. Um, that's the dungeon. We should probably use the dungeon one since we kind of are in a dungeon. What's this one? This is the ornate. Yeah. Oh, that's 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 really weird. And that's that one. And that's <laughs> that you can't even see through other than the streaks. That's kind of cool. Um, that one's too, yeah, it's a thick grid. I don't like that. Um, that's not that bad. And that's the one we started out with, I guess. Um, you know, I really like this one. I think that's the one we're going to go with. So let me take you downstairs. Let me show you how I got this all set up. Um, if you come down this way, oh, went too far. And then you turn around. This is our garden. Isn't it cool, guys? And I got this little lamp. I want to do a couple of these hanging from the ceilings. Um, but I think this is just so cool. Like, we're going to have a window across here. I feel like something's not lined up, but I guess that's okay. We might have to put, like, uh, a thing here to catch the glass. Is it like that on all of them? Yeah, I guess it is, isn't it? Okay. Um, I was thinking about doing, like, half of it as our garden and then half of it with our cows. Um, and then I put an infinite water source over here so we can water the garden. And then if we go down one more level, this is the level that's underneath. And so I've been trying to clear this out. Um, and I don't know what we're going to do down here, but if we ever did like, uh, some automated farms, I could at least get the pipes and stuff down here. So that's as far as I got last night. So let's go ahead and get, um, this glass. What am I doing? I'm going to get that. Go ahead and get this glass set up. And where did it, it must have put it in the bag, right? Um, let's see, I got to remember how to do this. See, if I chisel those pieces of glass. All right, so we're back to our temple. And I just need to make, I need to get a water bucket. All right, so let's go down. Um, can we make any food, or do I have any food in here that I can actually eat? I don't see. 
I got lots of this. You know what? I could probably make a bunch of bread <laughs> and some calamari. I do have an egg right here, though. That's a nice little meal. Let's just eat that. I'm running out of food because, I, you know, we tore our garden down, and I don't have any other source of food. And that's going to become an issue here. So we're going to come down here, grab a bucket of water, run back up steps. <sighs> My calves are going to be monstrous by the time the series is over. And let's see. Let's make some paper. And now we can make this. Is this the right one? Mirror, negative, positive. Um... Yeah, I guess this would be it. Let's just do this. Oh, I get the water bucket back. Okay. What I was doing wrong is I chiseled it all, right? So what I really want to do is actually I want to put it um, like this. And then I want to chisel it down to the way we want it. And whoops. And oops. There we go. So I want to chisel it kind of to the center. So we'll chisel it down like this. And I just want one pane, just like that. Yep, just like that. Okay. And then we can make a, uh, a relief of it. And then I can just put up glass. Or I can just put up anything, really. And then... Yeah, that's going to be an issue with that. Um... We'll fix that one later. Okay, so we're going to do it like this. And then we're going to go like this. Bam, 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 bam. All right. And then we'll put... I don't have any with me, but we're going to put um, a column here. And so then we need to go like this. Oops. Oh, crap. I just lost that one. And there goes that piece of glass. Boom, boom. And then we're going to chisel this one. Or, or make a relief of that. All right, cool. All right, so we're, I'm going to do this real quick all the way around. And I'm just going to do it at the top. Um, you know what? Screw this. I can do this later. This is all decorative stuff. You guys don't want to see decorative stuff. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to make some fences real quick. Let's make some fences. Let's just take the shortcut. All right, so I want to make this the garden side, and this will be the cow side. And so I want to make little pens for the cows. And let's go ahead and have it come, um, let's have it come across here. And there will be a column here, and then they can't get through, and there'll be a column there. And then we'll have it go like this. And then we'll do the same thing on this side. Boom, 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 boom. And we'll have it come to here. That's good. And then there'll be a column there, so we need to come across like this. And we're just going to put all our cows in here. And that's the way down, so we'll put our little gate right there. Boop. Whoops. And maybe not. And break that. All right. And then we got that. Oh, we didn't need that one there. Because we're going to put a column there. All right, so we got that, and then we just need to do this. Perfect. Okay, and then we need to make a fence. So, oh, I did make this. This is a mega torch. Um, I thought it works like a magnum torch, but it doesn't because the mobs are still spawning, and so I'm going to have to look that up. It might be, I know it's a little bit different, but I didn't know how different, And um, but apparently it's it's not, it doesn't have the same mechanics as what I thought. Let's just use all these. So let's go down here, grab that, and let's put all these columns up like this. Um, let's see there. And let's put a column here. Looks good. And then there. And then one here. Awesome. All right, so that glass is there. I'll probably chisel a little piece out through that. Um, yeah, and so we need a fence. So let's, let's go upstairs and make us a fence. Or not a fence, a gate. Let's see, what does it take to make a gate? Because I don't remember. Um, are there double gates? Nope, just a regular gate. Um, okay, let's just do that. And 
Okay, so let's go over here. Let's see how much of this junk we can drop off. Let's put this in here, that, that, the calamari. Um, I do have peanut butter, don't I? Yeah, there's a light meal. We'll just carry peanut butter around with us. So, that's that. So, here's a cow. I don't know what kind. Yep. And then, um, you know what? <laughs> Do you think I should make separate pins for each cow? That way I know what they are. I wonder if we could name tag these. Let's try. Uh, I don't have an anvil. Um, we'll name tag them later. Okay. Uh, let's do this. And then, so are those empty? Those are empty. I got lots of cows, guys. Um, that would probably be the best idea, wouldn't it? How many do I have? So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, yeah, let's just, let's divide them up. Let's break that. Let's do that. And then one here. We'll put these on top of here. And then I'm going to need to make some more fences. That way I know what I'm doing. So I'm just going to put two in each and then I'll figure out what they are uh, off, off camera. And there's that guy. And then there's that guy. I know what he is. So let's put those up there. And then we have these two. So let's put uh, him in there. That's the glowstone guy. All right. So let's uh, sleep real quick. Bam. 24. That might be enough. Cal says no. So let's... Uh, how do we do that? Middle? Okay. Like right there. Let's do it right here. So we'll put these cows in here. Uh, we'll put a label on the fence so we know what's what. That way I can come down here and get them when I need them. So we're going to have one cow. He's going to be by himself because I got five pins. So there's that guy. Those two look the same. And oh, Okay, so those are empty. So we got this one and this one. There's that guy. That's the um, that's the uh, pulsating iron, and I think this is the this is the uh, moonlight. That's his glowstone, and I forget. I think that's the coal. I forget what the blue guy is. All right, so those are all empty. Now let's. Put that guy there. Oh, crap. What the? I don't know what he is. That's okay. So now we have all the we have all the cows in their pens, which is good. We'll just have to put little fences. I don't know if I have to feed them or not. I doubt it. I doubt it. So those are those guys. And to make the... Um, to make the um, uh, chicken pens... We need to go into, I think it's just chickens. Chickens. Uh, we need to make the, is it hatchery? I don't think it's called hatchery. I think it's just called, maybe, let's try at chickens. At chickens. Yeah, these are what I'm looking for. So we got to do a hen house. Uh, nope, that's not it either. Is it hatchery? Yep, there it is, there it is. So we need to make these nesting pens. And these chicken feeders. Oh my god, there's so much stuff you gotta make. Holy crap. Alright. So we gotta make these. I gotta make this nest. So we gotta get a bunch of hay. So we'll make those. And I'll, I'll probably do those off camera. And then uh, next episode, we will play around. I might actually do a little journey down into the next level. And show you that. Um, or we might go explore that. Or we might do something else. I don't know. Like I said in the first episode, I'm just gonna play. I'm just going to play and you guys can watch and enjoy. If you did enjoy it, make sure you hit the like button. What is that sticking out of my butt? It's like an arrow or something. Oh, well. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button. And uh, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And make sure you watch all the people 
that are playing on the Voxel Squad. And also, the server is sponsored by Sticky Pistons. Go check out their website. You might be, get a good deal on a server. And uh, so this has been Full Craft, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.